Welcome back guys. Today we're going to discuss the cryoscopic method for isotonicity calculations. Apologize for my handwriting as I mentioned always my handwriting is not good. Okay, so what is the first thing we're going to do in the cryoscopic method? So the first thing is we have to find out the freezing point depression value for the drug which we have. So the delta Tf is equal to LISO times C. But as you can see in this given problem I have already given the delta Tf value so there is no necessity for calculating the delta Tf for the drug you don't have to calculate so it's 0 0.08 degrees centigrade right so what's the next next step then we're going to do you know or delta Tf or the freezing point depression value for the blood or serum is minus negative 0 0.8 Five two degrees centigrade. So now what we have to do is just add up the delta Tf value of drug plus the delta Tf value of your of the blood or the blood serum. So what is the final value that we are getting? Is 0 0.52 degrees centigrade plus 0 0.08 degrees centigrade that is equal to 0. Point somewhere around is 0 0.44 degrees centigrade okay and let's get back to this problem okay now so what's the next step that we have to do once we have the difference you all know that a one percent NaCl solution has a freezing point depression value of 0 0.58 degrees centigrade as I mentioned here it's 0 0.58 degrees centigrade right and what about uh, a freezing point depression of 0 0.44 degrees centigrade how much percent of NaCl that we require or that we need you know to have a freezing point depression value of 0 0.44 degrees centigrade okay that's what we need to find out as you can see here clearly this is nothing but a cross multipl multiplication right so this is a simple a cross multi multiplication hmm. so it's a simple cross multiplication okay so what we're going to do is this x is equal to so what we're going to do is simply cross multiply 1% NaCl and find out the percent x here so x is equal to 0 0.44 divided by 0 0.58 times 1 right so what's the value that we're going to get is equal to somewhere around 0 0.76 okay so for this is for 100 ml as you can see earlier we have mentioned everything in percent so right so for 100 ml for 100 ml it is 0 0.76 grams when I say 0 0.76 percent what do you mean by that 0 0.76 grams in 100 ml right you are aware of that right so now for 100 ml it is 0 0.76 grams what is about what is the final solution that we're going to prefer it's 250 ml as you can see it is 250 ml so how much it will be for 250 ml so for 250 ml it is again let's say x percent it's a simple cross multiplication problem so so for 100 ml it's 0 0.76 grams and for 250 ml we don't know how much it is we're going to calculate right so it's a cross multi multiplication again just cross multiply so it is x is equal to 250 times 0 0.76 grams over 100 sorry it's 100 okay so the final value is somewhere around let's use a calculator 
eight nine grams 